I'm going to start with a TMC 2457 in a size 14 with an appropriate size gold bead or, or silver bead is fine. I'm going to start by wrapping the thread around your finger and just lay a thread base down to the point of the hook. And then we'll continue back a little bit further after breaking off the thread back to the barb of the hook. I'm going to tie in some French gold tinsel in size medium or small and we're going to tie that back on the side of the hook away from you which will allow us to wrap it over as we move forward. I'm going to throw a half hitch in the head and put the thread over on the thread post so I can dub. I'll add some wax and we're going to use a standard hair's ear dubbing. I'm going to dub on a little bit of, of hair's ear by spinning the Norvice, just adding a little bit of a time until we get a long, thin dubbing noodle. We want to really put it tightly on the thread so we can pick it out later. And we're going to go back and lay down the body, a tapered body, narrow at the rear working forward and tightening up the dubbing loop as we as we move forward across the body. Again, just looking for that tapered body. We're going to add more up at the head of the fly for now, so I'm just going to half hitch so I can rib the fly. We're just going to hold the rib at a 45 degree angle and work it forward by rotating the vise until we get up to the head of the fly and then I'll secure that down with two wraps behind and then two wraps in front. And I always try and have my materials end on the top of the hook. And just make sure that's totally secure. Next we're going to add a little bit more dubbing. Get that thorax section created nice and fat so we can come back and pick it out later. Don't go too back, back too far. This has got a fairly short little thorax section. Just add a little tiny bit more dubbing here at the end. And as soon as everything's proportioned just like we like it, we're going to move up onto the head, take a minimal number of thread wraps so that we can sink that thread down in the head of behind the bead. I'm going to whip finish once and for good measure I'm going to whip finish again because I'm not using head cement here and I've got some good wax on the thread. Come in, cut the thread off and we're done. It's a really great quick pattern that's incredibly effective and it's great to have these in the box um, for caddis imitations because sometimes a traditional hairs here with the tail isn't what they need and I end up cutting the tails off a great simple pattern and easy to use and easy to learn on. It's impossible to, to mess it up. Hope that helps.